In this activity, we will find out how a Gloucester cow blossom is linked to Edward Jenner's work on smallpox vaccination. Smallpox is a contagious infectious disease caused by the variola virus. It was eventually eradicated in 1977, but caused millions of deaths worldwide. In the late 18th century, physician Edward Jenner noticed that milkmaids exposed to the mild infection from cowpox rarely caught smallpox. So Jenner took cowpox pus from the hand of a milkmaid and introduced it to scratches on the hand of an eight-year-old boy, James Phipps. James developed a mild illness but did not develop smallpox when exposed to the virus on several occasions. This was disease prevention, that one disease could be prevented by exposure to another. Jenner's work led to modern vaccination as we know it today. This vaccination activity uses a simple acid alkali reaction with indicators to simulate vaccination. For this, we'll need three clear cups or glasses, which will act as the pox and indicator reservoirs, small shot glasses, which can be rinsed and reused, a marker pen to label the cups, a bottle of distilled vinegar, which needs to be colourless, two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda made into a solution with a cup of water, around two mils of bromothanol blue indicator made into a solution with a cup of water, a few three mil pipettes and a teaspoon. First, set up the three cups of solutions and label them. Label the cup with vinegar, cowpox, Label the cup with bicarbonate of soda solution, smallpox. And finally, label the cup with bromothymol blue solution, indicator. Then label a couple of shot glasses as person A and person B. Only one of these people will be vaccinated. In other words, they will be given some cowpox, but both will be infected with smallpox. To do this, using a pipette, vaccinate person A by adding some cowpox pus to the person A glass, that is the vinegar. Now infect both person A and person B with smallpox and you do this by adding some bicarbonate of soda. We will see that person A will start fizzing so we can say that the vaccine is working. Now let us use an indicator to indicate who is still healthy and alive and who is infected and could die. Person A, the one who received the vaccine, will remain colourless and is therefore healthy. However, person B will turn blue, indicating illness and is dying. So by adding a small amount of the disease-causing microbes, the cowpox pus, which causes a mild reaction in healthy people, it made these people less likely to suffer the consequences of smallpox and they would survive.